Welcome to the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm Andrea. And I'm Zach. And we have yet another tale to tell you. A very similar situation to our very first video. And this also confirms the price of the battery. If you missed our first video with Kyle Sue, mm -hmm. where we highlighted the price of the battery replacement, well, we have that video here and you can watch that at any time. So both Ionic 5 vehicles are in Canada. And when we talk about pricing, we are quoting Canadian dollars. So this person who has come forward, she watched the first Ionic 5 video with Kyle and she had a very similar thing happen to her. She is on the East Coast, Kyle on the West Coast, but interestingly enough, their timeline is very similar and both vehicles were written off based on battery replacement costs being very high around the same time. Yeah, it's un unbelievable that this happened at the same time. So we put our first video out. As you can imagine, it caused quite a stir yeah. at Hyundai head office and they put out a statement in response to that first video and we're going to read it to you now. So this is really about the quote, the battery quote, and why is it so high? So let's take a look at what they said. With respect to the battery damage by Mr. Sue, the replacement cost was misquoted by one of our independent dealers. Our battery costs are in line with most batteries of this size and output regardless of manufacturer, and the vehicle still likely would have been written off by the insurance company. Well, I find it interesting, the wording there, they say that this is an independent dealer mm -hmm. distancing themselves from what happened at the dealer level. But just to be clear here, all dealers in the Hyundai network are independent. So let's just clarify, Hyundai Canada says that this is a misquote. Now, our viewer on the East Coast, she would like to remain anonymous for privacy reasons, and we respect that. So we will not be mentioning her name. But this is what she has to say about Hyundai Canada saying that it's a misquote. They can't deny the price. Capital Hyundai and Steel Hyundai had the exact same price to the dollar. I also spoke to two other dealerships, but I didn't take notes, so I can't say for sure it was exactly the same, but it was definitely 56,000 ish. And I have a ticket out with Hyundai Canada where I asked them to verify the price and to tell me what the standard protocols were for the assessment. The ticket number is still open and should have a record of all this too. Customer relations basically stated they could not offer any information on the price of the battery. And and deferred her to the dealership. So in our first video with Kyle Sue here on the West Coast, a lot of people commented and said, it, it falls at the dealer's feet. Mm -hmm. They made up the price. Well, we're gonna to prove to you in a second, they didn't make up the price. The price of 56,000 plus dollars is the cost of the battery. And the other thing that came out of this was Kyle never contacted head office. He did not. He never contacted Hyundai Canada. In this second case, uh, the person that came forward to us actually did contact head office, did open a ticket with them, and yeah. she got punted back to the dealership, and we're gonna now show you the cost of the battery. Take a look at the email now. We'll put it up on the screen from the insurer to our East Coast viewer, stating that the battery replacement cost is $56,000, and the vehicle will be written off. After doing more digging about this battery replacement cost being so high, we actually found a dealership in Canada that has the price listed with the same part number that Kyle had on his invoice. So I find it interesting that we have all of these people documentation stating that the battery replacement cost is truly that high. But Andrea wants to now get into uh, the second story. What happened to this person? And it is kind of similar to Kyle's story. Mm -hmm. And we actually have video too. So here's a quick recap. She was driving along and she hit something substantial. She said she hit something on the road. Someone behind her said she hit something substantial. She went and she looked. She couldn't see anything. Obviously, she was concerned about the battery and the damage to her vehicle. So she went to her dealership and they sent her a video, which I want to applaud the dealership because the video is very clear about the damages to her vehicle. And I think communication at that level was quite good for her. Let's take a look at that video. We currently have your car in the shop being serviced and we found some damages that we'd like to bring to your attention where a exhaust slipped underneath your vehicle. Now it's not nearly as bad as you may be expecting. 
we come up under here and we look at the the shield here you can see some scrapes and tears right around here but it doesn't look to be anything too serious at all now additionally if we come over here to the front of the vehicle you can see that this part has detached a little bit right here on the front which also means that you can get up here underneath and pull at this. Just thought you would like to have a little update on how it's doing. We'll have a service advisor speaking with you shortly to discuss the details a little bit further. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. So in that walk around video, you can see that the protection panel at the bottom underneath the battery is damaged. Mm -hmm. uh, the technician, as you can hear from his voice, is saying he thinks it's just mostly cosmetic. Yeah. And there's a, a problem with the spoiler at the front is split. That needs to be repaired. But they now think, OK, uh, the protection cover is damaged. It's, it's running fine, let's send it to a body shop, and then it went to the body shop, and what happened? The collision shop removed the shield. They wanted to assess the battery, and they found a small dent to the casing. At that point, the insurance company no longer wanted to evaluate or assess that battery any longer. And that's when she received the email saying that battery replacement cost is at that $56,000 mark. And now she hears that the battery casing is dented. So she went back to the dealership and started asking questions. The dealership says that protocol is if there are no warnings on the dash, no codes coming up, that there's no need to remove the shield and that the battery is fine. She took that to Hyundai Canada, who at first on November 1st could not answer her question, but did return a call on November 2nd and had more details. They confirmed, and I'm going to read her quote just so that we get it 100% right. Hyundai Canada Customer Relations said that they had checked with the dealership and also verified that the protocol is not to assess or scan the battery unless there's a warning on the dash. No diagnostics without reason. This is when headquarters confirmed that a dent does not impact operation of the vehicle. And that is when she also asked them if that meant by inference that the vehicle was safe. Headquarters said yes. So the second case, obviously, we don't have documentation with it written out. This is her telling us yeah. what the conversation was. So we have to take her word on that. Now, we are going back to Kyle, the original story. And um, we now confirm the price of the battery in Canada is over $56,000, plus labor, plus installation, plus tax is going to bring the price in uh, over $61,000 for Kyle. Mm -hmm. And the woman on the East Coast, hers was even higher than that. Okay, so expensive, more expensive than the cars are new. So back to Kyle. We have a second statement from Hyundai Canada that went out to uh, a news outlet saying that we had some of the information wrong and there was more problems with the car than was originally reported. So let's read that. In regard to the extent of the damage, upon inspection, the battery case was impacted to a degree where it warped the case with a deviance of 15 millimeters, causing a rupture of the internal cooling system, which is far more extensive than the reported scratches. Now, we asked Hyundai Canada if the internal cooling system was ruptured. Ruptured sounds like a big word to me. Why was Kyle able to drive away in that vehicle? He drove that vehicle for around four days. He used a level two charger. He used a DC fast charger. He drove to and from work before he handed this vehicle to his insurer. Never was he ever told that the cooling system was ruptured by the dealership initially and his dash had no notifications, no codes coming up, no warnings. Okay, which brings us back to the second story. Hopefully you're following along here. 
the woman on the East Coast, she had no faults come up on the dash, and they told her if there's no faults on the dash, then the battery should be fine and you're okay to drive it. That was later found to be not the case, and they wrote the car off, or they, yeah. a total loss. In Kyle's case, Hyundai's saying that there was a rupture of the cooling system. However, the dealer let him drive it away. He had no faults on the dash. He had no problems charging it and no issues. I just question that. Now, we actually have even more evidence to back up Kyle's side of this. Because this is a connected car mm -hmm. and he has the app on his phone, Hyundai pushes to his phone a monthly status report on the health of his car. Mm -hmm. And we have a screenshot of that. And it's coming up all green check marks and there are no warnings or outstanding issues with the car. This came to him after the incident where he ran over something. So the car is not showing any faults. The app's not showing any faults. I'm not sure how the dealer said the, the system was ruptured. Okay, now we're gonna get into the final statement from Hyundai Canada, their final response on this. Andrew's gonna read it out. Hyundai says they are working to achieve lower battery prices through a number of actions, including the building of a battery plant in North America. Hyundai says they are also evaluating remanufacturing possibilities that would allow us to safely repair batteries in the near future, which is not a viable safe option today. Unfortunately, some of our questions that we put forward to Hyundai Canada were not answered. We were hoping some key questions would be answered like, if this isn't the correct price of the battery replacement cost and these four dealerships quoted the wrong price, what is the price to replace a battery in an Ionic 5? And a second important question, if the internal cooling system is ruptured, shouldn't there be a warning on the dash stating the system is not working properly? So the way it sits now with Hyundai Canada, any battery replacement question mark is going to go right to head office. Yeah. And in the future, they hope to bring the cost down and have some kind of recycling or retrofitting of batteries. But that's not the case right now. Andrea found out from Volkswagen, they can do that. They can do it. They can repair their batteries. That will obviously bring the cost down if you don't have to replace the whole battery. So have an EV checklist know the warranty of the battery when you buy an EV, see if the battery can be fixed or does the battery need to be replaced and how much it'll cost to replace the battery. It doesn't hurt to ask these questions. We'd like to thank both of our viewers, Kyle Sue on the West Coast, and of course our East Coast viewer for coming forward with their story, trusting us with their story to keep you informed when it comes to buying an electric vehicle. So in the very first video, we said we'll give you an update on what happens with Kyle. Mm -hmm. Hyundai Canada did offer Kyle a discount if he wanted to get another Hyundai vehicle. He doesn't feel comfortable with that. He's mm -hmm. decided to pass on that offer. So we'll have to wait and see what he gets. Right below, tell us what you think. If you like what you see, we put a lot of different content out on the Motormouth YouTube. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'd love you to be a part of our community. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.